Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at uh, taking a little bit better photos um, of, of assignments or, or documents. And for that, we're gonna use our phone. Um, you can use a computer, but it's gonna be a little bit tough. Um, so we're gonna go back to our phone here. And let's run through the whole process. So, okay, so we have our phone and we're gonna go ahead and go to the camera. And notice the camera here uh, that I'm using is uh, it's a little wonky because of the fact that uh, it's using the computer's camera and then that goes on the phone. So, so let's see if we can get a good photo here. Whoops. Okay, so okay, so now of course yours would be on. Yours would be on the um, uh, your phone would be looking straight down the desk. You'd lay the paper down and, and you wouldn't be holding it up, obviously. So uh, so it would just look better. Um, okay, so so let's take a look at that document. Okay, so here we have it. Now the best way to do this, if you say that you did take it like this and say it's a little bit off, right? So the best place to edit this is actually right on the phone. So you're gonna, and there's a way to do this in, in, on iPhone as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this uh, editing tool here. And it's gonna come in and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start to rotate it. Okay, until it's straight up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to crop it in. Okay, so notice it's a pretty good cropping tool here. And there we have it. That's about as good as it's going to get. So we're going to click Done. And then I'm just going to share it up to... Uh, um, so notice that we can do auto kind of improvement there. Oop, and then I click Save. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and share. Um, and to share it, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it here. So notice that we can save to Drive, we can Gmail, or we can save it directly to Canvas, which is what we'd be using for our class. Uh, in this case, we're gonna save to Drive. Okay, and we're gonna call this Math. And then we're going to say uh, lesson nine, page one. Okay, so we're going to have a nice solid page name there. And then I'm going to just going to go ahead and click save. Okay, now let's say that we, you know, there's another way to do this, um, and that uh, we're going to go over in a bit. Uh, okay, so there we have our image. Um, so now let's go up to Google Drive. And let's take a look at it. So let's go open up Math Lesson 9, page 1 here. Okay, and there's our sample. So we get, it's very, very clear, right? We can see every number on here, uh, and that's a good, solid, um, good, solid uh, um, uh, image for our, for our homework there. Um, notice I'm using my kids' homework. <laughs> So, so I'm sure your homework's gonna look a little bit different. So, okay, so there's we, there we have our sample math uh, image there. Uh, so we're gonna go our page. Okay, so we're gonna go unit one, lesson nine. Okay, and there's our sample, you know, high, like a good quality, uh, uh, um, photograph there showing all of our work. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and go to insert. We're gonna to go to drive again. And uh, it's not showing me it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and find it. We're gonna go into school. Uh, and we have our sample math. There we go. Okay, and there's our image. 
and I can go ahead and turn it in just like that. Oops. Okay, notice that once it got a little bit wide, notice that it, uh, it no longer was able to show the entire page. So uh, in order to get the format right, uh, just notice that as you go out, it's going to start to go, uh, it's going to start to um, to uh, zoom in on you. So, so make sure you can see the entire image if it's a whole sheet of paper. Okay, we're going to go ahead and publish that. And that's us getting a high quality image from our phone uh, to Google Sites. I'm going to click publish and publish. And then we're going to go click view publish site. And this is going to be the URL that we actually see. So the view publish site, and this is the URL that we want. Okay. All right. Best of luck on getting a good quality image from your phone to Google sites.